Today I want to show you guys how to put your own custom character into Lyra, which is the example game that comes with Unreal Engine. This is actually a really easy process. All you need is a Lyra project for Unreal Engine 5, and a custom character rigged with the UE4 skeleton. Luckily, Production Crate Pro members already have access to a character like that. It's this guy right here, the sci-fi soldier from RenderCrate. Just be sure to download this version, the one that's for UE4.27. Once you have the character downloaded, you could just copy its content folder into the contents folder for your Lyra project, but if you want to be really safe, you might want to migrate it properly. To do that, you'll also need to install a copy of UE4.27. And real quick, here's how that process works. Okay, once you've downloaded the Sci-Fi Soldier for version 4.27 and the Lyra Starter Game, we're going to go into the Sci-Fi Soldier project. Once we're in the game, we're just going to right-click on the folder that says Sci-Fi Soldier and go Migrate, and then we need to find the content folder for the Lyra game. I'm going to press OK. I'll go to where my Unreal projects are installed, and I'll find my Lyra Starter Game, and I'll open up the content folder and press Select Folder. Once it's finished, we can actually quit this game, and we'll go back to our library and open up the Lyra Starter Game. Okay, once the game loads, this is the scene that you'll be greeted with. In the content browser, try to find the folder for the Sci-Fi Soldier. I'm going to go into the Meshes folder, and whichever skeleton you want to use, right-click on it and go to Skeleton, Assign Skeleton, and search for UE4, and select the one that's not from the Sci-Fi Soldier folder, so the one that's from the actual game, and press Accept. And then I'll hit Control S to save. Now go back to your content folder and then go into the characters folder and cosmetics. So we're going to look for B template UE4. And this is where we can customize characters. Now we don't want to mess with the original one. So let's right click and duplicate it. And we'll call this B underscore sci-fi armor and we'll save it. Let's double click and open it up. Let's go to the viewport tab. And the first thing we'll do is delete this sphere. This is just kind of a test accessory to show you how accessories would work. We can trash that. And we want to change this actual character too. So let's click on that. And under Skeletal Mesh Asset, we're going to choose male underscore UE4. Or if you did the female one, you could do that one. Now I noticed that sometimes it doesn't update. So just switch to another skeleton, let it load, and then switch back to the one you want. And there we go. Let's go ahead and press Compile and Save. And we can close this window. And now in the same cosmetics folder, we need to click on B underscore pick random character. Let's click on that. And this is where the game will randomly assign you the male default skeleton or the female default skeleton. Now we don't want either of the default skeletons, so we want to disconnect this by alt clicking here. And we're gonna click on select class and we're gonna search for B underscore sci-fi armor and choose that one. So for now, every character in the whole game is gonna be the sci-fi character guy. Let's press compile and save and let's test out the game. Then I press play and this is their little behind the scenes menu system. So we can go into whichever game mode we want, either elimination or control. I'm going to do control. We got to wait for the game to load up, but notice something. The character just appears and these weird particles sort of appear on top of him. So that's something we're going to have to fix. But you'll notice that our character is inside the game. Now, notice that it's kind of hard to tell who's a good guy and a bad guy because we all look the same. And also notice when my character dies, he doesn't dissolve as we expect. He falls on the ground and the particles emit, but he stays there. So let's fix that. Press escape and go stop play in editor. And let's edit a few things. First thing, I'm going to go to this M underscore team color basic. This is the material that chooses what color the different teams should be. And it's also the material that causes your character to dissolve. That's what this does. So let's go ahead and highlight all of this and copy it. Control C. And then let's go find the sci-fi soldier folder. We'll go into materials. And you'll notice that the male has a green version and a white version. You could use either one you want. I'm actually going to edit the white version because I want to change the colors of it. And I feel like the white one is a better blank slate. So let's open up the M underscore male armor white and let's paste those nodes that we copied right here. So to make the character dissolve, we have to grab this masked opacity and plug this into the opacity mask of the material. But notice that it's grayed out, so it's not going to currently do anything. We need to make a change. Click on the material node right here and where it says blend mode opaque. Switch that to masked. And now the character will dissolve properly when he needs to. This node here will dynamically change depending on the team color. So the blue team will be blue and the red team, this will change to red. So we could do something like just plugging this into the color map, but then the character is gonna be solid blue or red. We don't really want that. There's a couple ways that we can combine this depending on the look that you want for the game. So let's say we want the white armor parts to be the team color. Here's how we could try that. I'm going to right click and I'm going to press asterisk, which will find the multiply node for us. And I want to multiply this color 
on top of the actual texture for the character and plug that into base color. And now you can see the whole character is sort of tinted the team color. Let's press apply and save. And before we can press play, we actually have to assign this white material to our character. So in the sci-fi soldier folder, go into meshes, go into the male UE4 skeleton, and where it says male armor green, just switch that to male armor white and press save. Now we can press play and test out our game. So take note, our character should be dissolving properly and the armor is tinted the team color, which is really cool. So now we can tell who's the bad guy. Ooh, and he dissolves when he dies, just like we want. Now another way we could show the team color, if you don't want the character to not be white, is to make the character's edges glow the team color. So here's how we could try that. Go back into your material, and let's delete this multiply node, and plug the color back into the base color. And what I want to do is I want the edges of the character to glow with an emissive texture, but only around the edges, and I want it to be the team color that it's glowing. So we can do something a little more complicated. I'm going to search for a node called Lerp, which is short for Linear Interpolate. It's just like a blend node. And I'm going to blend the team color in the A input with just black. So the quickest way to get black is to create a constant or just a number by holding down one and clicking on the canvas. This is a constant. You can see the default value is zero, which equals black. So we can just plug that in here. And this is going to blend between black and our team color but if we want it to only blend around the edges, we need another node here called Fresnel, and it's spelled F-R-E-S-N-E-L. So it's a little bit weird. Just plug this into the alpha, and then plug this whole thing here into emissive color. And it actually looks like I plugged these nodes in backwards. Sorry about that. The team color should go into B, and this one should go into A. So now we can see that it's just glowing around the edges. We can actually tighten this up by changing these two numbers here. So the base reflection fraction in we can change this to a smaller number and it will get closer and closer to the edge. So I'm gonna type in 0 0.0005 and now it's a little bit tighter towards the edge. You can also experiment with the exponent in. So if I type in a higher number like 10, then the color is really just confined to the edge there. Okay, let's press save and let's try this one out. So this one looks pretty cool. It preserves that cool white look to the armor while showing off the team color. Man, I'm terrible at this game. Okay, and that's it. It's pretty simple, right? Now this was just a quick tutorial that I sort of wanted to cover while I was working on a longer tutorial. So what I want to show you guys next time is how to set up character movement on a brand new character from scratch. And we showed this before a while back, but the process in the newest version of Unreal is a lot different and actually a lot easier. So we're making an updated video for you guys. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to be ready right when that video comes out. This process was so smooth because we used our character which was already rigged with the Unreal 4 skeleton. We didn't have to mess around with any of that messy skeleton retargeting. But if you have a character that's rigged with Mixamo or some other skeleton that isn't compatible with Unreal Engine by default, and you want me to show you how to set up that character in Unreal Engine, be sure to leave a comment and we can get to that tutorial as well. Now if you do anything cool with this tutorial and get your own custom characters working in Unreal Engine, be sure to tag us on Instagram with it or post it to our Discord because we definitely want to see that. Alright, later creators.